So let's go to the main screen on the Galaxy and we'll find an application to have a look at. So this is the Audio Evolution Mobile. So I'm going to click on this and this is what I use when I want to do some recording of um, podcasts while I'm out and about or some audio booze. And it really does work quite well. So basically all I need to do is to plug in the microphone. I've got one of those giant squid microphones and a connector to make it sure that it works on it OK. And now I can press the button and start recording. It's pretty simple really. Just press the red button at the bottom there and away it goes and it's starting to record. I've got a nice little meter there which tells me that it's doing some recording which is quite good. These buttons at the bottom here give me some different um, things to look at here. So I can solo it, mute it or do whatever I want on that particular track. I can do a pan from left or right if I'm using a stereo microphone. And then on this one here I can change some of the uh, way that it's recording, some of the frequencies. So it depends on what the microphone is. So maybe on the microphone that I'm using I might want to move the mid frequencies down a little bit so I can move that across and uh, do some little twiddling and fiddling with it. And then there's this one here and it's telling me that the mono in. So basically it's using the, the microphone that is part of the device. Press the white button there to stop the recording. And as you can see, I do get a nice little uh, representation of the wave, which is something I quite like when I'm doing some, some changing, some editing to the sound wave. And there's a few little tools in there. So let's try putting one of these effects on there. And now I'm getting a few different possibilities here. So for instance, I could put a compressor on there. And I've got a whole lot of different uh, threshold, ratio, attack time and all that there. And I can choose what I want to put on there. So let's just close that once I've changed the settings. So I've got a compressor running there. And I can put other things on as well. So I could run a delay, a flanger, high pass, low pass, noise gate. That could be useful if you're in a noisy place. And you want to set one of those. And reverse the delay and reverb. So... That's a whole lot of different things. I can even put a chorus on there. So let's put close on there. So now I'm running that with a compressor and a chorus. And what I'll do is I'll uh, do a mix down of this track here at a later stage and add it to the end of this video so you can hear what it sounds like with those two things put on there. I can do things such as change the size of the track as I'm looking at it. So that's one way of doing it. I did that by doing the um, pinch out motion with two fingers on the screen there. And if I do pinch out going this way, so this is uh, going like um, in a horizontal fashion, the last one was with vertical, I can actually get in much closer and have a look at what's going on there. Now with regards to editing, what I can do is I can do some basic editing. So for instance, maybe this bit in the centre here I don't really want at all, so I can actually select that one there, which is for doing some cuts. Tap where I want the cuts to be, so beginning and the end of that there. And then I can go to this X here and I can do a delete. Once I've got the delete done, you have to remember then to change back to the pencil icon there. So it gives me back to the edit mode and I can move things. So this one here, for instance, I can move that. And I can bring that back in again by moving the start of that. So that's uh, another way of doing some editing. So you can take the beginning or the end of a track and, and um, make it longer or shorter. And then also what I can do is I can move the whole of this thing along and put it across there so I'll get rid of the gap. So there you go. That's a pretty uh, nifty little bit of editing that you can do. If you put one across the top of the other, then you'll find that it will actually complain about it and won't let you do it. So there are other things that you can do with this as well. So for instance, if I want to go for this one here, I can scroll through the project and move with two fingers. So this one's just uh, ordinary sort of scrolling through there. And then we can do with this one here, and that gives a range mode. So I can create a range and do something with it. I haven't actually done much with that yet, so I'll have a look at that in another video. I found that when I do the recording with use the microphone on the device, that it comes in a bit too hot, so I have to make sure that the microphone is a good distance away from the sound source, my mouth, and otherwise it um, clips the tops of the waves off, and I don't like that. Scroll through this here. Let's make it shorter. So... I can see all of the whole track there. Let's put the uh, start of it there. And I'll do some more recording and I'll show you what happens when you do more recording. It will go on to a separate track. So I've got that recording button pressed again. I'm doing some more recording. And you'd think that it would come on on the same track. Let's press this uh, stop button for the recording and see what we've got. And you see we're on to track two now. Okay, so there's track one. Let's go to the end of track one. And at the end of it, you can see there's the track two. But what I can do with this here is if I get to that pencil mo edit mode again, what I can do is I can take this here and I can put it up onto track one if I want to. 
So if you've got some extra recordings there and you want to do some different things with it and put it out onto a separate track because, say for instance, we track one there, we've got some settings there with the um, effects, we've got compressor and chorus on there, then that will put those effects onto that track. If we bring this back down onto track two, then on track two we don't have those things set, the effects on there, so that's going to come out um, sounding different. When you've done all your editing on this here, then what you're going to do is press on this button here in the top left hand corner and this gives us our options. So we can also get it to it from the, let's just click off that for a second. Okay, so we can also get to it from the menu button on the bottom there. So with project, global preferences. So if we go to project for instance, I can then choose load the project, save project. And usually it's a good idea to save project, but the one I tend to use with this one most of all is to mix down a project. So I'm going to mix down a project. You have to give it a file name, of course. And then you can choose what re resolution you want to send it out at. And uh, generally, I just leave it at 16-bit, which is plenty good enough for what I'm doing there. So we'll choose 16-bit. And then type of file. I um, don't tend to go for the WAV files. I tend to use the AIFF files. But all of these files are files which are uncompressed, so you get the full sound there. So let's click on that one there, do an AIFF. You can't put this out as an MP3, so basically you have to do a conversion on it afterwards. And I'm going to put this into the music folder. So let's click on OK, and we've got the progress bar showing what's happening there. So you do get this chance to share out your song or podcast, or whatever it is you've recorded, out to SoundCloud. So you do need to have the SoundCloud app installed and also be logged in to be able to use it. And just by clicking OK, it will... Send that off if I've got both of those things done. Let's click on cancel because I don't want that to happen at the moment. And you see that the file has been mastered and it tells me where it is. And it's gone onto the SD card music test.afff. Let's click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to want to do with this is to uh, have a listen to it or do something with it. OK, so we'll go to this one here and I'll put it into the uh, music. And there's our audio file there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on it. OK, so I clicked on it once there now what i've got there is the choices i can use a media converter is the one i want to use so let's go to media converter and it's best to do this conversion to an mp3 first because if you don't do it you've got a file which is far too big for sending out because it's a uncompressed file and your mp3 is going to be compressed so there you go we can change this to an mp3 we've got a choice of how we want to use this we can take the whole of the file or just a part of it and when we've got everything set the way that we want it, we just click on Convert. OK, so I've got to choose where I want to put it. Test MP3. So now what I can do is I can send that out. And the best thing to do for me to get it onto my Mac to do some extra work with it is to send it out using AirDroid. And I'll show you how I use AirDroid in another video. So you see how I use the Audio Evolution Mobile to record some sounds and do some settings with it and also how I managed to get that out of the application and into an mp3 file. I could, if I wanted to, just use this test mp3 and I could say go back into... Okay, so say I'm back in this one here, go back to the music folder. So there's the file now, I've clicked on refresh and we've got test mp3 so I could test, click once on that there. Now I could share this out and I could send it off to various places, send it to the sound player, uh, media player, whatever else. Or I could use it and I could send it off to something like uh, as an email. Share would be the one to use actually rather than anything else. So I'll share that out via email. So I'll go to my email application which would be this one here for Gmail. And I can send that out through an audio boo. So it goes through boo mail. And within quite a short time it becomes an audio boo available for people to listen to. And it's quite good. I only then have to go into audio boo to do a little bit of uh, adding of titles and descriptions and maybe a photo and even perhaps a uh, GPS location and I'm in business with an audio boo. It's quite quick to do, it looks maybe a little bit tedious and going through all these different steps but once you remember the steps it actually works pretty quickly.